in this series of tutorials we are making tutorials for generative sheet metal design if you are not in generative sheet metal design workbench then to start the generative sheet metal workbench you will have to click on start mechanical design and generative sheet metal design in the previous tutorial we have learned sheet metal parameters wall and wall on edge now in this tutorial we will learn extrusion bend and conical bend at first to activate these tools you will have to click on sheet metal parameters click on sheet metal parameters we have learned about the sheet metal parameter in the previous tutorial therefore we will not discuss anything about this in this tutorial click on ok then we want to learn about this extrusion extrusion is very useful command to create complicated sheet metal parts if your part contains curvature circle arc or spline shape then you can use this extrusion command and this command can be used directly without using the wall command click on extrusion then at first we will have to define sketch for extrusion for that click on the symbol of sketch then select the plane on which you want to create sketch i want to create sketch on this vertical plane create your sketch i will use this profile command then i want to add circular portion here for that i will select this tangent arc and i will add this half circle then i want here inclined line and escape then at the corner i want some spline shape for that click on spline take this end point give the second point and create the shape as per your requirement press escape then we will add tangency between these two object click on this line control this line click on constraint defined in dialog box and click on tangency okay then click on exit workbench and click on preview now it has created this complicated shape in sheet metal then from here you can control whether you want to add material in one direction or you want to add it both side of your sketch if you click on this option it will add material at both side of the sketch and using this option you can add material on one side of your sketch then from here you can define the fixed geometry it has automatically selected the first vertex as a fixed geometry if you want to change this fixed geometry click here and then select your fixed geometry this fixed geometry is useful when you will use this unfold command so that when it will unfold it will keep that geometry fixed and it will unfold other remaining portion so i want to keep this horizontal line fixed therefore i will select this horizontal line as a fixed geometry and you can also use the default selected fixed geometry it is not necessary that you define it yourself you can also accept the whatever is selected by default then here you will have to specify the length of the extrusion on one side and from here you can give length of extrusion on other side suppose i will give dimension here click in other text box so here it has added that extra 50 on other side then if you want to switch 50 on this side and 100 on this side you can click on this inward direction and click on preview so it will switch the side 
you can also define the length by selecting this limit up to plane or surface by giving reference plane and surface same way you can give it for other direction also suppose i want it on one side i will give here zero click on preview then from here if you want to create mirror extend so whatever length on one side that will be applied on other side also click on this mirror extend click on preview the same length will applied at both the position suppose i don't want this mirror extend preview then using this automatic bend it will add bend automatically at the required corners and if you remove this automatic bend and click on preview then it will not add the bend so in this case you will have to add the bend manually therefore it will be suggested to keep this tick so that you will not need to add the bend so it will add the bend automatically then this exploded mode we will see later in this current tutorial only then using this invert material side you can control on which side material should be added now here material is added inside your sketch by clicking on this invert material side and click on preview material will be added on the other side of your sketch so i will again click on this invert material side i want to add material inside this shape then click on this more option then you can apply local k factors at desired points for that click here then for this point suppose i want different k factors so click here and you can change value from here and you can select the points for which you want different k factor you will have to click the point of your sketch in this way you can add the local k factor and for this tiers also we will create separate object and we will learn this concept then click on ok now here it has added single extrusion feature if you use the exploded mode it will divide this object into basic features like wall wall on edge and extrusion just double click on this extrusion and select this exploded mode so that it will break it into basic feature and click on ok give some time now in that case it will give this warning no union has been done because each part is separate it is not connected click on close here if you see that individual basic features has been created such as wall wall on edge and extrusion and your part is divided into different features i will just undo it then i want to keep this plane at the center of this extrusion therefore i will use mirror extend i will double click and i will take this option mirror extend and i will reduce the length to 50 okay now i have plane at the center now in this part we have use extrusion as a first feature suppose if you use extrusion on some existing sheet metal part then there may be some problem about the connectivity of the extrusion with the existing part suppose if i want to create some extrusion here then if you want to connect this part with that extrusion then you will need to create that sketch in line with this surface otherwise it will not connect we will just try one extrusion click on extrusion click on sketch i will select this middle plane and i will create one sketch here using this profile and i will create one horizontal line and i will create one tangent arc escape 
then select this point control this point and click on constant defined in dialog box click on coincidence ok now this line is parallel to this line and it is aligned with this line therefore it will create connected extrusion I will click on this exit workbench then material side is correct then I want lesser length I will take it 25 and mirror extent ok now here this part is connected and it has not given any warning because I have created in one line but if I create something which is not parallel to this line and inclined to it then it will give warning we will try that also click on extrusion click on sketch I will create something on this surface select this surface or this face and suppose I will create some object which is not aligned with this line suppose object is like this escape and select this point control this point and click on constant define in dialog box coincidence ok now this line is not parallel to this line it is inclined click on exit workbench zoom fit isometric view and I don't want on other side I want limit 2 to be 0 and this is bigger 50 or lesser than that 40 then click on ok now here it has given a warning no union has been done because we have not created aligned with this line or aligned with this surface now in this case to solve this problem what you will have to do you will have to put bend here manually to put that bend manually click outside then click on bend here then here you will have to define two surfaces between which you want to add the bend I will select this surface and this surface so these two surfaces are defined as the support 1 and support 2 then radius has been taken automatically from the sheet metal parameters and angle is work out as per their existing layout then by clicking on this more we can define the extremities left side I will keep this as it is for right side suppose I want this one round relief ok so here now it is connected it is not separate now you can add this bend or you can also add conical bend I will just undo it to add conical bend click on this arrow and select this conical bend again for conical bend you will have to select two support support 1 and support 2 now in the case of conical bend you can define different radius at each end suppose for left radius I will give 4 mm and for right radius I will give 8 mm here also you can define the extremities I will choose the default one ok here the conical bend is added so in this way you can solve the problem of no union then next will be the one option that has been remained is this tiers for this we will create one more object click on new press P for part ok ok then again sheet metal parameters ok then extrusion then sketch then select this vertical plane then I will create one rectangle from center give the center point give the other point 
now for extrusion if your sketch is closed then extrusion will not be created for extrusion sketch needs to be open we will break it here we will trim it we will create one reference line and one more reference line and we will trim it then exit and ok then I want to close this portion also and I want to create a close sheet metal part again click on extrusion click on sketch then select this face zoom fit then create one horizontal line line give first point give second point and select this point control this point constraint defined in dialog box coincidence okay same way this point control this point constraint defined in dialog box coincidence okay then click on exit workbench then change the direction click on invert material side and preview now here it is giving error extrusion connections can't be maintained in the flat view because these both end will be connected therefore flat view cannot be created so the suggestion is please select tear faces so you will have to select one face that you want to tear when flat view is created to define the tear surface click on more click here then I want to define this face as a tear face then click on preview so it has not given any error and it has created closed sheet metal part also click on ok and click on fold unfold and zoom fit and here it has unfolded the closed part and you can fold it back isometric view zoom fit same way you can also unfold this part which is very complicated and consists of different curves click on unfold so it will unfold this part also so in this way you can use extrusion for complicated or close sheet metal parts in the next tutorial we will solve some exercises based on what we learn in this tutorial thanks for watching we will stop here.